From the Carly B. TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carly Booz. Georgia House members turned aside objections that tougher anti-gang sentencing laws would sweep too many young people into prison for long stretches, passing a bill backed by Republican Governor Brian Kemp. The bill aims to crack down on people convicted of recruiting minors into a gang. Kemp's floor leader says gangs must recruit to survive and says the bill will send a message that if they continue to do so, they will get severe punishment. Senate Bill 44 passed on a 99 to 74 vote and goes back to the Senate for more debate because the House amended it to include a much reduced version of stricter cash bail provisions that senators are seeking. Lawyers for former President Donald Trump are attacking a special grand jury and prosecutors who investigated him in Georgia, asking a state court to throw out his report and all testimony from the inquiry and bar Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis from continuing to investigate or prosecute Trump. The filing is an effort by Trump to escape one of the multiple legal challenges he faces. The special grand jury heard from about 75 witnesses and considered other other evidence before wrapping up his work in December. It did not have the authority to issue indictments, but instead produced a report with recommendations for Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Robert McBurney ordered most of that report to remain under seal. A plan to boost weight limits for trucks on Georgia state highways is proving a heavy lift against determined opposition. On Monday, the Senate Transportation Committee voted 7-4 to four and approved a new version of House Bill 189 that will allow trucks moving agricultural and forestry commodities to carry up to 88,000 pounds on state roads. The bill goes to full Senate for more debate. The House would have to approve those changes. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com. Come.